I help you, Inquisitor? A spirit on the island held the memories and possessions of Emeridan's lover, a woman named Talana. It told us that Emeridan was here on orders from Emperor Draken himself, and where he went next. Trust his dimples. I may have received tenure from that sentence alone. Emeridan had a lover. Talana, you said. The Inquisitor's Lady Mage. There was such debate over whether she existed. And there were orders? This was a request from Draken? This changes everything. It's fascinating to find new evidence about these things. The spirit said to follow the river to the north, and something about spires or spikes. Mm. Up the river. The scouts have had trouble with Hakonites up there. I'll continue my research, but for now, your guess is as good as mine. What do you need me to do next, Professor? That spirit on the island said something about a Meriden going upriver to, um... Some place with, with spires? While you search upriver, I'll continue studying these buckles. That, um, sounded better in my head. I'll speak with you later. Not like others we've seen, apart from wanting to eat us. Fascinating. I suspect it came into contact with the Fae. So, river, metal, just like the friendly spirit said. Great. It seems the jaws of Hathor would rather we weren't here.
This is brilliant. This must be what the spirit meant. Excellent find. From what I can see, this is an ancillary station. Likely a scouting post for the larger structure to the east. What can it tell us about where Inquisitor Ameridan went? Hmm. Indeed. That's something you don't see every day. A pair of shrines. This one is clearly Andrastian, albeit from a very early period, likely pre divine. But this is Elven, one of their gods. Uh, what was it? Every mother finds Druffalo among sleeping juniper groves. G something. The one with the deer. That would be Gilano, mother of the Hala. Yes! Brilliant, thank you. Oh, that would have bothered me all day. Two shrines for two lovers. Inquisitor Ameridan and Talana. Maybe Talana was an elf. Oh, yes. That's good. The Chantry expunged references to Elves before the Exalted March on the Dales. They erased the canticle of Shartan. They must have done the same to Talana. Do you think this is where Ameridan died? No, this was a site of preparation, not burial. Ameridan and Talana put up this shrine together. Look at those flowers. They're not native to the area. What if they were left at the shrine as an offering? Yes, a night of prayer before battle against the dragon. But then where? Where? We're missing something. What are we missing? Oh, where did you go? Professor, look at this. Shartan 10-7 and Transfigurations 10-1. Shartan is dissonant, and before them, empty, outstretched, lay the land which led to the gates of Minrathus. The Transfigurations is, the light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world. sealed away the dragon. I'll follow the markers and see what we can find. Thank you. 
Are we certain these trail markers will burn through this wall of ice around the fortress? As long as the trail markers are still functional, we should be fine. No ice, still a wall. What about that? I don't see us breaching these walls. Could we try something else? Perhaps our new friends at Stone Bear Hold will have some ideas. Your Skald and your Scout are here. We can plan the assault. Oh, I like the sound of Skald. It's more dramatic than Professor. <coughs> <coughs> yes, well, uh, everything we've found out about Inquisitor Emeridan suggests that he never emerged from that Tevinter fortress. If that is where your Inquisitor defeated Hakon, that is where the Jaws of Hakon must perform the right to free him. 
Inquisitor Emeridan saved the Lowlands from an Avar invasion. We cannot do any less. You really have no problem with us killing your god? Gods cannot be reborn until they die. Hakon needs a good rebirthing. If you say so. With its ice wall melted, the fortress is open to attack. We must strike soon, before our foes recover. They're already trying. I've got most of our forces defending the shrine from Hakonites who want to restore the wall. If anyone has suggestions, now is the time. What gives you fear, Inquisitor? Is this not the battle you wanted? I'm no warrior, but with Lady Harding's forces defending the shrine and no way to breach the walls... <sighs> Lowlanders. Why not climb the walls? Your warriors can get over those walls before the Hakonites stop them? This is not a war, Stone Daughter. This is a raid. We strike at night, clad lightly. We climb the wall and open the gate from inside. If Stone Bear Holds can open the gates, we would be grateful. The jaws of Hakon have been bugs in my bedroll for months, Inquisitor. We owe you thanks. Inquisition forces will feign weakness near the shrine. That'll draw some of them away from the fortress. Not too many, I hope. Yes, save some for us. Right, Inquisitor. Ask and I will climb over. I'll be there to catch Parv when he slips. Of course you will. You'll be behind me after all. Where's the guard? I've got him. Not Harry. More will be coming. 